Hi guys, welcome back to new XD tutorial. Today we are going to design a racing game with keys using only Adobe XD Auto Animate. So let's get started with the tutorial. We are going to require few artboards. We select iPhone X artboard and change its name to road as we need multiple roads for our different animations. Create a rectangle of same size and remove its border and change its color to 373737. Now we are going to change its height to around 6500 pixels. We can vary between 5000 to 6000 depending how long your animation will go. Now change the name to road of our layer and lock it. Now create lines for roads and change its height to 90 pixels and change the border size to 10 pixel. It will be great. Change the color to white. Now create a repeat grid as we need multiple lines across the road. Now change the angle to 180 degree as we need to move to upward direction to complete our road. Make sure the vertical distance between two lines around 90 pixels. We can vary between 80 to 90 pixels to make our design look more professional but 90 degree is good now increase it to fill the entire road rectangle change the name to road lines and group it with road now place or arrow for the directions or keypad on the road you can place it anywhere i like on the corner make sure you group all the cars together otherwise uh, otherwise Adobe XD will consider it as a pasteboard not inside the artboard. Now we need to place it along different positions so we can move the position on different artboards. Make sure the difference between two cars is same size as your artboard which is 812 pixels. It will create a nice motion when we move along different artboards in our auto animate the last car should be further away so we will create a fast motion at the end now duplicate the artboard and change the position of our first car around the half of our artboard and change the arrow position to 90 degree to make it right Duplicate the artboard one more time and change the first car back to our police car. It will create a motion as it passed our car. And place this car also on the half of our artboard and change the position of a police car. Duplicate the artboard and gain the position of arrow keys and add your other car into the artboard and your first car should also be moved away. Duplicate the artboard one more time and change the position of a white car behind the red car in the same line. And now add your other police car into the artboard and make it about more than a half of artboard. And now change the our main car and make it collide with the other car. Now we will add our damage icon. You can create any irregular shape for this part. Duplicate this artboard and change the opacity of damage to zero as we will add it on our collide. On the second artboard make it visible. Now we need to add start again. Create another rectangle of same size and our artboard and give it the fill of black color and change its opacity around 50 to 60 percent. Now create a rectangle. We will make it a button. Change the sign and make the rectangle border 
order to complete circle we will use the orange color here now we need to duplicate this rectangle button three times in total and give each a different color lighter to its previous and we will add star text and center it and change the font to roboto now we group all these together to create one single button that we will use to go to our first artboard and paste the start again button onto the previous artboard and reduce its opacity down to zero do that also on our main artboard now let's prototype it we will use that gamepad and keys and trigger the same arrow keys as we define in our artboard and change the easing method to none we'll create a smooth motion for our road do that for all the artboards and change the arrow position according to the motion of our main police car For our second last artboard we will use the time trigger and with the delay of 0 and the duration of around 0.6 seconds to 0.4 seconds depending on your likeness. For the last artboard we also use the time trigger with the delay of 0.4. As you can see it's not working properly we need to move our road to give the proper motion to our animation it's very simple here what we need to do from our second artboard we will need to need to change the position of our road each time to around as we are doing for artboard 2 we will multiply 812 by 2 and then add it into our y position it will reduce the y position and make the road come downward to create this very nice motion for our road now let's play it again and as you can see it's working very smoothly you can change the position of cars or the road depending on your likeness hope you like this video if you like do comment what you want to learn next in adobe xd i will see you in the next video